everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. It's day two on the inaugural sailing of Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas, the biggest ship ever created. We're going to start off the day at the Surfside neighborhood at Pier 7, an all-day brunch restaurant. We'll explore the ship, including the 1900 Lobby Bar, which has hand-crafted themed cocktails, which taste as good as they look. We'll browse some of the Icon of the Seas merchandise, and Kidder is going to try Sorrento's for the first time ever. Is it really the best pizza at sea? And I heard the ship might have a casino, so we're going to head there, play some slot machines, and I might have won the biggest jackpot of the entire ship. To celebrate, we were dining at Giovanni's Italian Table, which is now in the Royal Promenade, and we'll end the night with one of the most out-of-this-world ice skating shows we've ever seen. Why don't you come with us on this adventure? Slept in a little bit late today, and these blackout curtains block out all the light. You literally don't know what time of day it is. Let's get up and get some like brunch or something. This morning we've had this infinite balcony open, and the breeze from the ocean, it actually works. When we were parked at port and it was like super hot, I didn't like this thing, but now that it's cool outside, this works. I think it works. I mean, this is fun to sit in this little kind of cubby area and you can just stare out at the ocean and not be like outside in the elements or in direct sun. Like literally the sun is shining on my leg, but I can't feel it because it's like obviously tinted. Yeah. So like, you can't feel it. This is great. I love this. I think the thing is that the breeze from outside, it's just like the right amount of cool and it feels like the whole cabin is the balcony. Like I can hang out on the bed and watch the waves and feel like I'm on the balcony. By the way, the TV has a live feed from Central Park. So if you're on Central Park and you're deciding to make out with your significant other like the couple was last night, just know you're on TV. Lunch. We're gonna head over to the Surfside neighborhood. They have a place called Pier 7, and this has brunch all day, and you pay per item, so this is not complimentary, but I'm excited to check it out. This restaurant is a little bit more on the smaller side than I was envisioning. It holds about 50 people, and it has like a cool surfing aesthetic. I love the chairs, and there's posters all over the wall that are kind of like generic surf towns, like Hawaii, Malibu. I love it. There's surfboards everywhere. I really feel like I'm gonna catch a wave. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I'm excited to try it because I love that there's options on this ship that like you don't have to have a reservation for. You can just show up, get a table, and it's like empty in here. And I decided to get myself a watermelon margarita. This has silver tequila, triple sec, watermelon syrup, and margarita mix. Yeah. It has little chunks of watermelon on top there. Very refreshing. <laughs> Very sugary. I like it. I give it like a four out of five Peter. I am also gonna try a drink. I'm gonna try Scarlet's Tropical Sangria. This has wine, guava, passion fruit syrups, pineapple, and lime juice. I've never had authentic sangria before, so I don't know if this is what it's supposed to taste like, but whatever this is, it's delicious. It just tastes like a really sweet, like kind of tropical punch with a hint of wine in there. This gets a five out of five. So I went pretty basic California style. I got the club sandwich with french fries. Just wanted something good on the sea day. Let's uh, let's dig in on this. Five out of five. Hits the spot. <laughs> That's delicious. Chris loves club sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Are you, would you say you're a connoisseur of club sandwiches and carrot cake? I am a connoisseur of club sandwiches and carrot cake. <laughs> the only thing that literally could make this better if there was like a slice of carrot cake. I mean, side. you could go up yeah. to the buffet and grab I one. I yeah. could go to the buffet and grab one. I got the California burger. This is a juicy beef patty topped with melted cheddar, bacon, guacamole, jalapenos, crispy onion straws, arugula, fresh tomato. You can get your choice of chips, tots, or french fries. I got myself some tots. They suggest like you can get it with an egg on top. So we're at a brunch place. Why not? Our server says this is his favorite thing on the menu. So I had to order. 
This burger is fantastic. It's a little bit spicy because of the jalapenos and those onions and the bacon give it a little bit of a crunch. The egg is perfectly cooked. So it's like I expected when I was gonna bite into it, it was gonna run all over the place. That's been my experience with egg on burgers before. I do gotta warn you when you come here and you order it, everything's made to order on like, you know, the main dining and the other stuff on the ship. So it takes some time to get to you, but well worth it. I'd give this a five out of five Peters. I'd come back here. I would come back here wow. during the seven day sailing and get one of these. And I ordered the Baja fish tacos. This is fish on a warm flour tortilla topped with tomato salsa, shredded cabbage, spicy mayo, sour cream, cilantro, and I got a side of chips. I love myself a good fish taco with that uh, spicy aioli on top, so I have high hopes. Our server's from Mexico, and I was like, are these as good as the fish tacos in Mexico? And he said, yes. So I believe him. So these are excellent. I know this is my trademark word, but they are very flavorful. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. They, you know, it t just tastes like a good fish taco. My only complaint is the tortilla is kind of basic. It's, you know, it's a cold tortilla, but the fish and the sauce on top, very good. Just like you, I would come back and get these. They probably get like a 4.75. They're not quite a five, but they're very, very good. So here's a look at our check and what we spent. I will say that the prices have gone up. I remember when we went on Symphony and we went to Playmakers, like everything was like four or five bucks. Everything felt like a, a bargain and now it, it's just a little bit more expensive, but I still think it was worth it. Like this was a delicious meal yeah. um, and it's, you know, it's nice to spice it up and not have to go to the buffet all the time. Yeah, it definitely is a step up above. Yeah, it down. feels like a little bit more special. But I will say, this restaurant being in the back of the ship, it's like very, you can feel the motion of the ocean back here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I had a good time. This is my favorite spot on any cruise ship because I love seeing like the trail of water. It just looks so pretty, like cutting in the dark blue. Ah, I love it. So right now in Surfside, they're doing this thing called the Larger Than Life Family Festival where they have big versions of popular games and Chris just got challenged to like a rock paper scissors battle but the problem is is if she wins the last one she wins right no don't try to oh wait are you playing on that one yes oh I thought you were playing on the same one yeah, I am can no, you see can you I see? get it now rock paper scissors shoot We're gonna go inside and check out some of the stores. They have this new store called Sixth and Main, which I think is like some like more high quality Royal Caribbean merch. We need this leather I can never see uh keychain. They got it here. They have my signature color, so if you're looking for like a more subtle Royal Caribbean hat, they got you. What do you think's in here? If you had to guess, I already looked. A cup. You're close. It's actually toothpick holders. Just kidding, it's shot glasses, right? <laughs> I like the holder though. Fancy. I love this little bag, this little fanny pack sort of bag. It's like very simple, but looks nice. It's like the royal gold colors. 
They have the most basic bucket hat that literally just says Royal Caribbean in like the most basic font. You should get it. Check out this backpack. I like it. Very stylish. I'm not even joking. I might actually get it. I've been looking for a new travel backpack. I kind of like that a lot. So we just walked into the Royal Promenade and they have gigantic dominoes here. I, at first I was like, are, did the games, the oversized games from Surfside make it into the promenade? But no. Let's see if I can knock it over. It must be bolted down. Why would they bolt dominoes down? Like I should CG it so they like fall. <laughs> I'm not that talented. I think what's really interesting about the Royal Promenade on Icon of the Seas is all the different venues are open concepts. They're open to the promenade itself, which makes everything feel so much bigger and wide open. But I kind of wonder what it's gonna be like at nighttime with all these like bands playing at the same time. Like will it like clash together? I guess we're gonna have to come tonight. Check it out. I just noticed this gigantic whale hanging from the ceiling, this beautiful metal sculpture. It almost looks like it has like flowers or barnacles all over it. It's so beautiful. And I am loving this open concept, like in the middle of the Grand Promenade with these big giant windows. It just makes it so much more bright and enjoyable in here because on the all the other ships, it's kind of like a dark and dingy, like you never know what time it is. Now I know that it's daytime and it's yeah. it's just nice to have the light in here, you know what I mean? It just makes it feel more spacious. I like that there's a lot of like comfortable seating so you can just like sit here and look out at the ocean. Yeah, and they have this Pearl Cafe, which I think we'll go to a different day because we just ate, but that's where you can get like all your little coffees and snacks and stuff. This is a nice little area. Right across from the Pearl is the 1400 Bar and Royal Caribbean has decided to pay homage to Icon's build number by naming the bar after it. And it's cool because a lot of the drinks on the menu are kind of a throwback to Royal Caribbean's histories, dedicated and named after a bunch of the different aspects of the ships over the years. Serious, I'm serious. <laughs> shimmer syrup and the lemon sour with a citrus bubble. I am a sucker for any drink that has like the smoke bubble and this one I think is reminiscent of obviously the pearl which is like the icon of this iconic ship. So I'm excited to try this. It smells so good and the bartenders here are so fun and funny. Like this is a great new addition. It tastes very similar to a lemon drop but more of like Kind of like an earthy flavor almost like basil or something so it's like a lemon basil kind of drink very good i love it even with the gimmick i'm gonna give it a five out of five this might be my new go-to i chose my drink not based on the ingredients inside of it but actually the theme it is the flow rider which is of course themed after the thing on the pool deck that you ride like a surfboard i've done it before this is not what I pictured. Like I thought the Flow Rider would be like blue. Yeah. But who knew that the Flow Rider had such like a refined palette? <laughs> Apparently it does. Ooh. Is it strong? Very, very strong. This is a Peter drink for sure. Kids would hate this. Oh my god! This. I could smell it like in your breath. Oh god. If you like like old fashions and stuff like that, you'll love this. I'm not sure how this relates to the Flow Rider but I like it, I would give it a five out of five. And one of the coolest parts of the 1400 bar is it actually goes out onto the deck. So you can actually go outside, hang out on loungers and look at the ocean while you're drinking your, your drinks. Or you can just come out here if you don't even have a drink at all. But like, I love that Royal Caribbean with this ship has kind of opened up the ship more to the ocean. It's kind of the inverse of what Disney did with the Wish, which kind of like closed you off from the ocean more. That makes sense. One of the biggest tips I can give you is on the day that you board the ship, there's gonna be a long line to get photos with the Pearl. Day two, we're at sea, there's almost nobody. So you can get all your photos without waiting in line on day two or the rest of your cruise. Don't, don't feel the need to wait on day one. Just over by the Starbucks and we noticed they have the Icon of the Seas, been there, Starbucks cup. What does it have on it? The hideaway. The 
Thrill Island Water Park. We've got Crown's Edge, Gambling. Surfside, Gambling, the Aquadome. We've got the Pearl. Swim and Tonic. Playmakers, Sorrentos. That's cool. That's really cool. And the Flow Rider. Wow, these flowers are actually real. Crazy. And now, we'd like to thank Upside for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Every year we pledge to save more and spend less, yet every year things just keep getting more and more expensive. And one way to save more money is with Upside. Upside is a must-have app that allows you to get cash back when you get gas, when you get groceries, or when you dine out. You know, one thing this cruise ship didn't have is a Johnny Rockets, and we've actually been craving an old-fashioned burger and fries. And good news, the Johnny Rockets is near us is currently on Upside. All you gotta do is open the app and it'll show you all the places in your area that offer cash back. Currently, this Johnny Rockets is offering a whopping 16% cash back on Upside. All you gotta do is check in at the location, eat your hamburger and fries, and within days, you'll have your cash back. This is what we look like when we get cash back. And you can cash out at any time to a bank account, PayPal, or even an e-gift card. To get started, download the free Upside app in the App Store or the Google Play Store. And remember, use code ORDINARY to get an extra 25 cents cash back on every gallon on your first tank of gas. And start saving today. Upside users are earning hundreds of dollars cash back every year. Don't miss out. And now back to our adventure. All right, now we're gonna check out the main Royal Caribbean store to see if there's any iconic merchandise. I bet you there will be. There probably will be. Unless it all sold out yesterday, who knows? They have a model of the ship. You can see Trill Island in the back there. Where's our room, Chris? Just kidding. Our room, <laughs> somewhere around there. Nice. I gotta say, I don't like how they make these models. They're like out of like almost like a porcelain material. I think it's pretty cool looking. I wish it was like a more detailed model. Yeah. If that makes sense. So of course they have a bunch of Icon of the Seas logo merch. It's kind of basic. There's this Icon of the Seas shirt. It's very soft, very simple. It just kind of has the outline of the ship. Is that like three? Oh yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's like threaded in there. Very soft. Uh, okay, so this is the Bling Cup, but I don't think this is the ten, uh, the hundred thousand dollar one. I think it's all diamonds. I'm gonna say thirty bucks. $3,999. I guess there's a decimal point somewhere. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. I love this mug, the color. It's a little bit shimmery and it actually says inaugural season 2024. Yeah, I like the design with the front of the ship. Yeah. They also have a woman's t shirt that has that. It's a little shimmery as well. Yeah. I feel like the person at Royal Caribbean in the merch department was like, oh, it's a trend to have like this 3D design. Let's go even further out. I like this sweatshirt a lot. I like that style. Ooh, like yeah, it's like simple, but kind of cute. Yeah, I mean, it's not inaugural, but... It still says Icon of the Sea. This is so cute. I found some plushes of the little icons that are in the Surfside area that are on the carousel. The little minion pineapple. I think I like the octopus with the love eyes. Yeah, so nice. and then my favorite, the flamingo. So there's a whole series that is this like Icon of the Seas logo on the chest. And I think Kidder's putting on a hoodie that might also have the same design. Oh, that looks good on it's you. comfortable. It's so nice. That like soft. that's you have to get that. That is a it's must really purchase. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. That looks really good. They have a first mate t-shirt collection. That's kind of incredible. I don't remember any pet merch last time we went on a World Caribbean cruise. Well, now they have Rover on board, oh, so they need all the merch so for the fellow Rovers. Yeah, there's like yeah. leashes and stuff too. Collars. They got dog toys. Leashes. Oh, first mate, get it? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, this one actually says Rover. I wonder if he wears that. She. I think it's she. Yeah. Look at this. They got a ship cup. Yeah, and it has like an, a bump where the ship is. That's interesting. They got some colorful tanks. Why don't they have colorful stuff in the other merch? Like, the ship is so colorful. I want colorful merch. And they have an inaugural tank top. Kitchen's making me try on this hat. <laughs> I feel like you could rock it. Our friend Chris Povo says they have like this. Yeah. Yeah, make it pull it down more. There we go. You, see, like, the, yeah. uh, you could you could still see it. You can still see it? Yes. <laughs> what is this lanyard? Ooh. Does that do anything? Oh you could put your Yeah, you put your card in there. Duh. Do I need that? You can put your 
your key pass in there, right in there. And you could just go to your room and go boop, boop. Bring it in the pool, boop. Don't have to worry about it. Don't need to have a pocket. Just go boop. Okay. Except for when you get a drink, then you gotta go. Here you go. Okay. Yep. Okay. Ooh, limited edition. What is this? Ooh, you get like a medallion, a little pin, and a, a little metal display thing. Interesting. I wonder if they do this for every like ship opening. They have like a big inaugural season coin kind of thing. Wow. What do you do with this? You display it proudly. Maybe I should get one. <laughs> oh, they have an inaugural season magnet and keychain that same logo. So we're here at Sorrento's. I've never been on a Royal Caribbean ship that has Sorrento, so I'm super excited to try this pizza. I've heard about it a lot. I'm really curious, is my reaction to this pizza gonna be like this or like that? Let's find out. Do the little fold trick. That is delicious. Five out of five, incredible. What? Oh my gosh, this pizza's delicious. <laughs> Compliments to that chef. These two right over here are amazing. Listen, okay. This was great. This is a great just little snack during great little snack during the day. He's giving out a lot of fives on this cruise. Who is he? Kitra? <laughs> and I love the plates that they come on. They look like paper plates, but they're actually like plastic reusable plates. Fancy. Listen, I don't hate Sorrento's pizza. Sorrento pizza is fine. I just don't think you can have a good pizza at sea because they don't have the wood fire oven because it's a cruise ship and they don't want the cruise ship to burn down so they have this like kind of weird oven. But front is fine, is what I'm gonna say. So we're sitting here in the Royal Promenade looking up and you can actually see the statue of that diver who's gonna like dive into the Royal Promenade. He's diving in for some Sorrento's five-star pizza. <laughs> she knows good pizza when she sees it. <laughs> oh, looks like they really aren't done with the ship. Still working on it. We keep finding more statues and I found Chippendale. Who knew that they were on a royal cruise this whole time? Are those chipmunks or squirrels? Oh yeah, you're right. I think they are squirrels. I'm not sure. What would their names be? Chop and Dill? <laughs> They have added a new concept. It is a milkshake bar. It's called the Deserted Milkshake Bar. Get it? Deserted, like we're on a deserted island. And here they have a bunch of milkshakes. They all look amazing, but they're all at a cost. They don't come with their beverage package. The one I decided to get is the Stranded Burrow. This is a vanilla and salted caramel milkshake topped with dos de leche, donut pieces, vanilla icing, cinnamon cereal, cinnamon candy, caramel popcorn, and whipped cream. And for adults, for $5 extra, you can add a fireball cinnamon whiskey shot, which I thought they were gonna mix in, but apparently they just give you like this little bottle. And I love that it comes with an, a vanilla edible straw. So I guess you can eat it afterwards. I've never had an edible straw before. And it also comes with this burro on top. It's kind of like a pinata, which I think explains why it's $18, maybe. I love caramel, I love salted caramel, I love dulce de leche, and this is basically what it is. It's a dulce de leche shake. It is good. Is it worth $18? Probably not. If you, have, if you have kids here on the ship and they want to get themselves this little pinata guy, maybe it's worth it, but it is very good. I'm actually quite satisfied. I wish that they would actually put the alcohol in the milkshake when they mix it though, because this is like very messy situation, do you know what I mean? I think for presentation alone, I'm gonna give this a four and a half out of five. What? It get, gets a deduction because it's not, Because it's ex yeah, you it's kind of expensive, it. yeah. especially with this. I think I ended up paying $27. Wow. With this and that together. Oh my God, this almost tastes like butter beer or like a butterscotch candy. Very good. Wait, is that is that a butt check right there? It didn't even plan it, but yes it is. <laughs> it's a shame that there's not like a little prize or something inside the pinata. We're always a sucker for these like fancy milkshakes, but this is actually good. It really is like the butterbeer because in the Wizarding World you can get like a shot of Fireball and mix it in with the butterbeer, so this is kind of like similar. Woo! 
That makes it even better. Oh my god, that's good. I'm gonna go chug this whole thing. Oh my god, it almost tastes like eggnog. And so if you don't like eggnog, maybe you won't like it, but I like eggnog, so whatever. And the best thing is you get to have a little souvenir when you're done, even though it's sticky and covered in ice cream. Oh, we got a towel animal. Yay, what is it? It's wearing one of the hats. It looks like a little dog, maybe, or like a bunny. That's so cool. Cute. We also got some swag, some inaugural cruise swag. Uh, and Chris got his own. Icon yeah. of the sea. I like the colors we got. I love the color. This is awesome. Okay, so the craziest thing just happened. We just spent the last couple hours <laughs> in the casino, and Kidder has had the best luck today. Yeah, he's been winning all the games in the casino. He's won that game, that little kid's game earlier today. Yeah, he sat down at the slot machine where you like build up these coins and it's kind of like that game of Dave and Buster's where you push the coins down. Yeah, it was a fun game. And Kidder won, well, here's the clip. All right, I just went from that slot machine over there. I came here, I pressed one time at $1.20 and it gave me the bonus. Oh my gosh, here we go. Let's see what happens. The screen is getting smaller. Oh, I'm winning money. I've won basically my bet back. That's good. Come on. But why is the screen getting smaller and bigger? Oh, we want that. Oh, we got three spins. Ooh. Oh, that's good. We got three spins. Push them all down. All of it down. Ooh. Oh, the pearl. Ooh, what's the blue thing? Come on, come on, Pearl, do it, do it, do it. Oh, yeah, how no. much is the Pearl worth? Five dollars. What's happening? Oh, we won the bonus again! Oh. <laughs> what is going on with you today, Chris? Oh my gosh, we get to do it again. We get four more pushes. Oh, we're gonna get all of these. Come on. You've been winning oh my off the hook. Oh, we got the ball. Nice. We need more of those. Man. The balls were 10. So now we're up to $16. I don't think it works like that, Chris. Oh, the crown! What is the crown worth? Two hundred dollars. Whoa! Yeah, see, they want to keep you playing. Wow. Is what that crown is. We're up to like twenty-five dollars on this thing. But that crown is basically them being like, keep wow. on playing, Chris. Keep on playing. Yes. Yes. Do it again. Uh, Additional eight more of that. Spin. Nice. But you have. Now I understand why people watch those Vegas channel slot channels. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Chris has been building up this stack of coins up here. It's going to push all the stuff down. This crown is worth $200. So we need to get to the next mini game or push it, because hopefully that crown will be in Chris's pocketbook. It's happening. All right, we want this. Yeah. Fall down here. Here we go. Ready? Oh my God! Slow motion, push. mega push. push. Slow motion. Push. Press. Push. What's push gonna it. happen? Push it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Covered it, it covered it. But we got three spins. We have three spins. And we went $20. We're up to $26. This is good. We get three more. Here we go. Come on. Big money. Big money. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Yeah. Yeah. Cash out. Cash out. Yeah. And we have three, we have like three spins. Where's the shape to the, the grand now? Let's get 
the diamond. <laughs> Last push. <laughs> okay, that's not all. It gets better. Because Kinder, Kinder won a few hundred dollars, but then we found this machine that had like this emerald or something, and like we just. It was the same machine. We yeah. were just betting more money so the prizes were bigger. And we spent so much time there with our friends views and cues, Kinder, all of us kind of like rotating. Fi we were all about to give up. And then Peter was like, you know what? This is my last time. <laughs> Goes down one last time, and we won. Wait. Here's the clip. Oh. Oh, oh my no. God. 12-3 game. Oh, my God. This is going to happen. Oh, 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 that's good. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy crap. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So many points. Uh, this game is the devil. It is. This game is the devil. It is. Oh my gosh. 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 You are not leaving this machine, Peter. Should you just cash it? Oh my god! Win it! Okay, cash out. Do it, Peter. Cash out. We believe. You got like a big <laughs> Five more points to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. But what if it says nothing in those coins? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, there we go. Wait. Oh! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Make it rain, make it rain, make it rain, make it rain, How incredible is that? I've never seen somebody win that much money at the casino before. Or, I mean, someone that I know. I only win like a hundred dollars, maybe two hundred. I've done blackjack and I've like turned like a hundred dollars into like a thousand dollars before. But, but nothing. But like we that. had like a crowd of people around us. Everyone was like cheering. It was so much fun. That was that's why gambling gets you. And finally, <laughs> and it paid off today. Oh, don't worry. We'll lose it back eventually. No, well, no. We're gonna take that money and book another cruise. Is what we're gonna do. Yeah. More adventures. Yeah. <laughs> so we found this book in one of the drawers, and I think it tells you about like all the art that's around the ship. Cause there's like so much art. It's like paintings, or is it also the this, sculpture? Yeah, these are inspirations for like the stairs, like the different art that's on the staircases all throughout the ship. And then you've got the different corridor, the corridors. Here's the atrium. I wonder if they sell this the book. Royal Promenade. Or do so they... We've seen him before. Oh yeah, we saw him on the Royal Promenade. I haven't seen a lot of these things. Central Park. The butterflies. Remember this? Oh yeah. Statue. See, I love a book like this that like goes to the making of like what they did for and them. And you remember some of those statues. Yeah. That's out at the hideaway. Chill Island, Thrill Island. So it has more than 9,900 works of art. Wow. For dinner tonight, we're going to Giovanni's Table for some Italian food. So this Giovanni's Table is a little bit different than the other ones we've been to. It's open up to the rest of the ship, so it's more like open concept. But it seems like it's pretty much the same menu, where they have antipastis and then they have the entrees. And I don't even remember what we've gotten before, so we're just going to get a bunch of stuff. It'll probably be the same stuff because we had the same taste as we did probably two years ago. I got the, for my appetizer, the calamari and polenta. Comes with a side of marinara and alfredo sauce. I love calamari. This is deep fried. Those are some pretty big slices yeah, of calamari. I'm like good. really excited for that. I've like, never seen calamari look like that before. I'm gonna dunk it in here. Mm. 
That's another five out of five, right there. That's delicious, yeah. Fresh, like just a little bit of crispiness and like breaded texture on the outside. For my appetizer, I got the gigantic meatball. This is sauteed spinach, mozzarella, marinara sauce topped with Parmesan cheese, and it looks fantastic. I wouldn't say it's like this big, but it's like more like this. Big. <laughs> I mean, when it cut into the middle here. That's a gigantic meatball. Oh, look at that. There's like cheese inside. Oh, okay. That's a hearty meatball right there. Very good. Very zesty. Not too much cheese, even though like cheese is in the ingredients like three times. I like this a lot. I feel like the last time we came to Giovanni's, we were comparing it to Jamie's Italian, which is on some of the rail ships, and we love Jamie's Italian. So I think we might have been overly critical of Giovanni's. I'd give it like a four and a half out of five people. Since me and Peter have recently become charcuterie board connoisseurs, I thought it was only fitting to get the meat and cheese plate here at Giovanni's. This looks a lot bigger and a lot better than I remember. But like Peter said, we are we always are comparing everything to Jamie's a ton, which we love so much. And their meat plank is like stuff of legend. This actually looks pretty good. It's huge. It's a lot bigger than I remember. And there looks like to be a good variety of different meats and cheeses. So I'm excited to try it. But for being on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean, it's pretty dang delicious. It's a good variety and I would recommend getting it when you come here if you want like a nice little appetizer. And any meal that you have at Giovanni's table is going to come with garlic cheese knots. And those are fantastic. So I went with just a classic staple because that's the type of guy that I am. I'm going with chicken parm, a little bit of spaghetti marinara on the side. It's funny, Chris's face is blue because they have all these like lights going on over here. I think this will be the first dish of the trip that no. doesn't get a five out of five. I'm pretty particular with my chicken parm. The chicken's a little tough. I, I'd give it a four out of five. Good flavor, but... It's not gonna go in the uh, Hall of Fame. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. I think the Jamie's chicken parm that I had on Navigator of the Seas, that was a five out of five. Yeah. I wish Royal would just bring back Jamie. Be nice. Yeah. Just bring back Jamie's, okay? Nobody wants Giovanni's. So here's one difference with Giovanni's being open concept. The music has started in the Royal Promenade, and the lighting and the, the music is just blaring into here. So it's like you're losing the little intimate atmosphere of being in like this Italian premium restaurant, but you're gaining the entertainment that's going on outside. So, whatever. Anyway, for my entree, I ended up getting the lasagna. I am a connoisseur of lasagna. I think I got this last time I was at Giovanni's. If there's lasagna on a menu, I gotta get it. I gotta eat it. It's okay. A lot of like liquid in there. I'm not sure what that means. Like a lot of juices and stuff like that. I'm kind of falling apart. Tasting more of the meats than I am the actual sauce. I think it needs some more tomato sauce or something. But the flavor just like isn't mixing too well. I'd give it, it's not bad. But I'd give it like a three out of five. Beer. And then I got the fettuccine alfredo with chicken. I love fettuccine alfredo. I might be an aficionado. Just like Peter, he sees a lasagna, he's gotta get it. I gotta get the alfredo because I love it. But don't show me cutting my pasta. It's a mix your own, make your own don't kind of pasta, which is weird. I just went and threw it over the edge. <laughs> wow, that took every ounce of effort not to spit out in my napkin because I don't want to be gross. The chicken on this is absolutely disgusting. I just tried a piece of it by itself. It is bland, but also overly salty. Like it was like broiled like 10 days ago and then left out in the sun. That is the grossest like chicken that I've ever ordered from a restaurant before. Maybe don't get this one, or get it without chicken. Take my rating down to a zero. I'm gonna finish the pasta, but even that is like very salty. I don't, I don't know what happened here. Maybe don't go to Giovanni's. Yeah. 
Uh, or just come and just order the appetizers. Like, I think they have, like, a wine bar. Maybe they serve the appetizers there or something. I don't know. The ship has only been open for one sailing, and the vandals have already tagged the heck out of the ship. What the heck? What the heck? Well, she's crazy. I'm sorry, I'm so excited! Crazy is where I live. Welcome to Starlight Animators. Oh my goodness. And to get there, you gotta go through plate makers. And I've actually not been in here yet. There's a lot of like important sports ball going on right now. This is a cool entrance. It reminds me of like Tron or something. This has to be the coolest ice skating rink at sea. I love that it's like a circular design. It looks like a galaxy in here right now with all the lighting. And everybody is guaranteed like a good seat no matter where you're sitting. I'm so excited to watch the show. It looks like they like added projections to the background. Yeah, or something. it looks really cool in here. It is a little bit strange though that you have to like kind of walk through playmakers to get here. I didn't like know where I was going unless there's a separate entrance. No, that's what you get to do. Yeah, but regardless, I can't wait.
gold, silver, bronze, and copper change from their solid forms, cascading into a molten spectacle. Always, the ice skating shows on Royal Caribbean ships never disappoint. That was freaking awesome. I loved it. And I love that it incorporated Victor, who's like a world famous juggler. We saw him when we were on Wonder of the Seas, and it's cool that they basically gave him his own show with like animation and stuff. Like, and then it's just. Yeah, he's been on like America's Got Talent, he's been in Cirque. He like, he is incredible. He's and so awesome. I feel a, privileged that we got to see him. Yeah, it's amazing that he, they gave Victor Key his own show here on the ship. You need to come see him do it. Yeah, and then of course all the ice skaters were amazing. Song choices were A plus. I loved it. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Yeah, I love the innovation here, like the projection mapping on like the background and on the actual ice itself. I loved how like at one point, it had stuff following the people. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, like with location tracking. And then Victor using like, were those drone balls? I have no idea, but I was amazed every time <laughs> that happened. I was like, how, this is magic. Yeah, it was <laughs> magical. Anyways, this is only day two of our Icon of the Seas trip. If you wanna see more from this cruise, we'll put the videos right over there. I wanna say thank you to some of our Patreons, that includes Andrea, Sarah, and B and Gmo, thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you, you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.